In part two of the series where we calculate the change in enthalpy from bond energies, we ended off with question two, which asks, another potential future fuel is methanol and it has the chemical formula CH3OH. Write a balanced chemical equation for the combustion of gaseous methanol and use bond energies to calculate the enthalpy of combustion of methanol in kilojoules per mole. The first thing that I wanna do is write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. So it's a combustion reaction, this fuel, CH3OH will react with oxygen and that will form water and carbon dioxide. If you balance this correctly, you should end up with the following balanced chemical equation. Two, three, four, and two. Now that that's done, you wanna write Lewis structures for each of these molecules. Starting with methanol, we have C, bonded to the hydrogen atoms. That's bonded to oxygen. And oxygen is bonded to hydrogen. That takes care of this. Oxygen molecule is diatomic. That means we have two oxygens that are double bonded. This molecule is simple, O and two hydrogens. And the Lewis structure for this is carbon in the middle and it's connected, double bonded to two oxygen atoms. Now when it comes to using bond energies to find the enthalpy, we want to use one mole of the fuel. So rather than having this two, I can divide this whole equation by two and use those instead, those numbers. So if I divide this by two, that becomes a one, that becomes three over two, that becomes two, and that is one. Now that we've done that, we have one mole of this molecule. We will find the sum of the bond energies of these two molecules and subtract by the sum of these two bond energies. Here's what I mean. Starting over here, we have three CH bonds plus one CO bond plus one OH bond. We will add that to 1.5 times, because three over two is 1.5, the number of double bonded oxygens. Eventually we'll find the sum of these energies, but let's set this one up. We have two OH bonds plus two C double bonded oxygens. So we'll find the sum of these, we'll find the sum of these, and subtract the two sums. Let's use this chart. CH is right here, it's 413. So this should be 413. Next we have CO, that's right here. It's 358, and then OH, 467. Double bonded oxygens can be found right here, 498. Now on to this, OH. OH, as we discovered over here, was 467. And at the same time, we'll multiply this by the coefficient of two. Carbon double bonded to oxygen, according to the chart, is 799. Now let's use our calculator to come up with the total answer. So, so far, I've added this number, this number, and that number. I'll add 1.5 times 498. And then I'll subtract, notice that I'm putting all of these numbers in brackets, open, close, four times four, six, seven, two times two, plus two times 799. You should end up with a number, negative 658, negative 658 kilojoules per mole. And there you have it. If you'd like to see how question three is done, make sure you watch part three of this series. We'll see you soon.